In this video, I will show you how to use Hive with Flutter. And at the end, you will be able to save data locally using Hive with your Flutter project. So let's start right now. Right here, I have a list of 10 things that we will need to do inside this video in order to use Hive inside your Flutter project. So the first thing to do is to create and add the dependencies. Okay, so we'll add the dependencies. You can go on pub.dev slash package slash Hive and this will be the pub.dev, okay? After this, we need to take the documentation and open it inside a new tab, okay? So if you remember, the first step is to add the dependencies. So this is available on the first screen of the documentation. You can see we need the Hive, Hive Flutter, and in the dev dependency, we need the Hive generator and build runner. So I will add this inside my project. In the dev dependency, I have, oops, I have Hive and Hive Flutter. And if I don't put any version, this will automatically take the newest version. Okay, after this, I will need to put inside my dev dependencies, the Hive generator and the build runner. Then I will run my Flutter pub get, or you can go inside your terminal and write Flutter. Oops, if this can move on the side, you can write Flutter pub dev pub get like this. It's the same thing. All right, so that's good. Now we have the dependencies. The next step to do is to go and create a class and, gen uh, and generate an adapter. Okay, let's do this. We will go inside the documentation once again. And since we need to generate an adapter, we will go in the section, generate adapter. Next, you will scroll down and you will copy this class, okay? I will copy this and we will need to create one. So I will go inside the library, right click, new file, and I will need to call this one person.dart, okay? And after this, you can paste. What you have to make sure that you have on your, on your side is this is called the class person which this is why we have the name person.dart and also we have the part person.g.dart. You need to make sure that these are the same name, person, person, and the class person, okay? After this, the part.g.dart, this will be the name of the file that will be auto-generated by Hive later. So just keep it like this for now. After this, we have three things inside the person class. We have the name, the age, and the friends. For now, we will remove this section friends. And for this example, I will just show you with the strings and the int. Okay, next, what we need to do, since we use the null safety, we will need to create a constructor for this person class. So I will say that the name, uh, the field name will be required. And I will also say that the field age will be required. Okay, so in this case, we are fine. All right, I will bring back the list to do. We have create, we just created the class uh, person, okay? Next, we need to auto-generate the class G. For this, what, we'll do, what we will do, we'll take the documentation, and then inside, if you go up, you should find a comment. So I will copy this, and I will move this on the side. We will go inside the terminal again, and we will paste this comment. So I will paste it and press enter. Okay, this will auto-generate the person, the g.dart class. And if you have a problem with this, I will show you how to solve it, okay? So let's find out. On our side, we don't have any problem. So it worked pretty fine. But if you have any problem, just copy-paste copy this thing in a new tab, and you will say, by example, don't work. Okay, you will click right there. You will put don't work. You select this one, you scroll down, and you will use this command, okay? Because sometimes it can happen that your command doesn't work, you will use this one, and then it will work. Great, uh, I will close this. And now for the next step is, if I bring back the notepad, we have to init the Flutter. Okay, for this, I will go back inside the documentation. And if we go inside the quick start, we should be able, if we scroll, we have the Hive init Flutter. So we need to copy this. After this, what we'll do is we will go inside the code, inside the main, and we will create just before the my app or before the main or after the main instead. And before the run app, we will paste the await hive in the flutter. Now you need to make sure that you import the hive flutter like this, hive flutter, hive flutter, not the hive hive. 
just make sure that you have the same package. After this, uh, you have the await, so we need to put a nothing. Oops. We need to put a nothing to make it work. Great. We have in it the hive. The next step to do is to register the adapter. Okay, so for this, what we'll do is, uh, can we find it inside the type adapter? You will see that you need to register an adapter. So I will copy this, go back in the code, and right after the init flutter, we will register the adapter. The adapter will be the name of the class. So it will be person. And if you go inside person.g, you will have person adapter. So this is the name you will use. We will say person adapter like this. And this should import the hive person.dart, this one. Okay, and now we have the person adapter. Great. After this, we have the step number six and is to open the box and create a box file. So what we'll do is we will first open the box. I will bring back the documentation. For this, uh, what we can do is we can find this code, box.await I've opened box. We'll copy this and we will go inside the code right after the I've registered after. We will paste this, okay. the the type will be person because we have the class person and this will be called uh, person box, okay? But you can change the name if you want. After this, uh, this we understand that is a box. So what we'll do is we'll create a variable box persons and we'll create, create a file for this because we'll be able to access it everywhere. We will go inside the library, new file, and I will say boxes.dart. This one will be a box like this, and it will say box persons. And just like this, we will need to put this as a late. And that's great. We can go back inside the main, and now we can import, so we can quick fix and import the boxes.dart, the new file we created. All right, now what we need to do is to put data inside the database. So inside Hive, we need to get this data we need to be able to delete everything in one click, and we need able to uh, we need a, we need to be able to delete everything in one click with the clear and delete certain element. So what we'll do is we will do this inside our application. I have created pretty much every visual thing. We will write the name. We will write, by example, Max. We will write the name. We will say add, and this will add the person inside the box. Okay, let's do this. So the first thing is to go down when, and we will put data when we press on this add button, okay? You can see that this is a text button with the child add, and this is what we have. So what we will do is we will uncomment this, or we can write it together, it doesn't matter, we'll redo it. We need a set state first to refresh the screen when we click on the add button. And now we need to access the box persons, which is the thing we created inside boxes.dart. And then we say dot put, and we will put something in the box. For this, we need to put a key, okay? So the key will be um, the way for us to retrieve the data later. So we will call this one just a key, and we will put the dollar sign, and we will write some more data inside. What we will write is the name controller, which is the name of this text field, the text. Okay, so this key will be uh, different every time you add a new name. So it will be dot text. And then the value, the, the value will be the person class. So you will save the actual person class inside the database. Okay, so what we'll do is person will require the name and the name will be the name controller dot text. And also the age will be the, um, age controller, oops, age controller dot text also, but the thing is age will require an int. So we need to say int dot parse, and inside we can put the text like this. Okay, so we can format document and save. Now we need to restart the application because the application has crashed. So I will restart the application and I will delete the comment like this. And while the application is currently reloading, we can do the other section. And the other section will be 
maybe to get the data, okay? Because now we are able to put the data inside the database of Hive, but we need to retrieve this data. So for this, what we'll do is we'll create a list view that builder that will create for the number of box inside the box person, okay? So what I will do is I will create a list view the builder. The item count will be the box person dot length. So if we have like one item inside, then it will be a list of one item. After this, we need to say, we need to get access of the person class. So we'll say person is equal to box person dot get at, get at index. And we'll get the first index, the second index, third index. So we'll be able to have all of them. Okay. So for now, if we add, by example, max, and we say age 55, and we say add, okay, this is now inside the database. So we need to display this information. And how do we display it is with a title and a subtitle and a subscreen. So we can say person, this is the class we use from the box person that get at index. Okay. And we can use person that name and person that age. So if I save, now you can see that we have max 55, 55 age. But if I write maxim, then you will say that it's another one. Okay. And now we can write an or uh, any, anything with it would be by example 77. And it will say add. Okay. Now we have all of them. But we need a way to delete add element. And we need a way to delete everything in one way. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go inside the list view, which have an icon button remove. Okay. This is the icon. Okay. And every time you click on one of them, it will remove the one you clicked on for this. We will just say set state. Okay. And then we'll say box person that delete at, and we will put the index simple as that. And now you can delete by example, max or any, and then you will see that oh, I need to refresh the screen because this is a new function. If I click on any, this will remove any and just keep the two other one. And if I restart the app, I still have max and maxim. Okay. After this, we need a button to delete everything. And this one is just the box person dot clear. So if we restart the application completely, everything is set up. We are able to click on delete all. This will delete everything inside. Do we need a set state? Yes, we will need a set state in this case. So I will put the clear inside format document inside. So you see nothing is inside the, the database. We will write one name, max age 40 add. We have max and then we will create a Sam, which have 45 and we will add. Now you see we have max and Sam and now we'll add also Sammy, which have 46. And now if I add, we have three of them. Okay. And if I delete just Sam, we have two of them. We can restart the app. We still have the two of them and we can delete all to delete everything inside the app. So if I click delete all, this delete everything. Okay. So this was how to use Hive with Flutter. And I hope you really like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Otherwise, give it a thumbs down and see you in the next one. Bye.